All right, it smells like your roast is, think about there. It smells delicious, right? You need right? to go check on her and see if yep. she's good to go. And I'm actually gonna start searing mine off. Mine don't take that long to cook. I brought my steaks up to room temp, just like we mentioned earlier. It's very important, because that's gonna ensure even cooking. My pan is hot. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil in here, because without fat, you're not gonna get color. It's very, very important. I'm gonna season my steaks. I'm gonna let it rain. Oh, she takes care of me with the wine. I love to have a glass of wine while I cook. Put a little <laughs> bit of pepper. And my pan's smoking, so it's telling me, drop those steaks. And here we go. That's what you want. That's a beautiful sound. Just gonna season a little bit on this side. So while these sear, Lush is actually preparing some I'm just grilled gonna... bread, which actually goes really well with the duca. Dip a little bit of oil, dip it in the duca. It's gonna be delicious to serve with our steaks. I'm gonna make a traditional pan tomat. And that's what we're gonna serve our raw salad and the tenderloin roast on. What exactly is a pan tomate? Pan tomate is just grilled bread that you drizzle with olive oil, rub with tomato, and then mulled in salt. It's, it's so, so good. One of the simplest things and most delicious things you'll ever taste. Nipple. Now, my pan's hot. I think it's hot enough to get some nice color. I'm almost there. I really want a nice, even crust. And once I flip them, I'm gonna create another crust with my duca. And that's just layering more flavor on top of more flavor. And I think we're ready to go. Look at that beautiful crust. So at this point, I'm gonna spoon a little bit of my duke on each filet. Let's try to get it on the steak. I think that's a good, good layer. Let me stack it on. I think that looks wonderful. All right, so I've got a nice crust on top of my steaks that I've seared off. They're ready to go in the oven. And what's great is Lish pulled her roast at 375 and I'm actually gonna go back into the oven at the same temperature. The only difference is mine's only gonna take like seven to 10 minutes. They don't need much. I like my meat medium rare. You want it to sort of melt in your mouth when you slice into it. I've got the steaks in the oven. The roast is resting. We've got our sides ready to go. I've got my glass of wine and I'm gonna get you one because it's that time. It is that time. It's time for dinner. Look at these beautiful cuts of meat that we have. I mean, yeah, look at this spread. This is pretty exciting. Right? Now we Let's just put have to, all this stuff together. We gotta put it all on the plate here. I'm gonna slice this bad boy. I've got my yogurt schmear. A little bed of vegetables. I'm gonna take my tomato and rub my bread with that. With my bread, I'm doing what we said, which is to dip your bread in some oil and then dip it into the duca and serve it right with your, your steak, which, come on, how that delicious does that look? Bad. I'm just gonna top my steak here with some of this beautiful salad. Oh, remember the fennel fronds that everybody throws out? <laughs> Not us. You ready to eat? I am, are you? I'm starving. Let's do it. All right, get in there for a nice bite. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Fresh herbs, a crisp fennel, and the beef. Wonderful. I'm getting nuttiness from my duca. It's absolutely delicious. That yogurt smear, so glad I added it. Lovely. What a fabulous meat-filled day, huh? I'd we have to really say. showed you how a piece of grass-fed tenderloin gets to your table. Remember, support your local farmers and butchers. Here's to the love of meat.